Happy Mother's Day. Thank you. It's good to see all of you out there and uh, let you know that God loves you. And he, he's, he's here with us this morning. And I want you to know that uh, he's got a blessing for you today. Uh, it won't be in my message, but it'll be in what he's going to do for you personally today. This is a special day. This is the day God has made. I'm going to lift up with just a few announcements to you. First one I'm going to lift up is not in the, not in the bulletin. First two is not in the bulletin. Uh, you notice over here there's a few trash bags for the Midwest Food Bank. Uh, we, we're asking you to bring uh, trash bags, the tall kitchen bags. They are uh, unscented, and uh, Midwest uh, Food Bank uses those to pack stuff in, and that's one of the one things we can do to help them. So please keep that on your mind and your heart, and uh, when you're in the store, pick up, pick up all kitchen bags unscented. Uh, you can buy big boxes, little boxes, any kind of size boxes, and bring them, and we'll take them to the Midwest Food Bank. So please be used to that. Also. Today is not in the bulletin, but today's being Mother's Day. There's a Mother's Day offering if, for Wesley Woods. And what I've done, I've got a, 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 on the table back there where the bulletins are, there is a bucket. And it says Mother's Day offering right by. And there's some, some money in there. And uh, it, you can do that for the next couple of weeks if you could. Just help, whatever you help out, help out that ministry there as well. We do use to do that each year. So it's Wesley Woods Mother's Day offering. Also, don't forget that at 6.15 in the mornings, uh, there's prayer going on here in the church Monday through Friday. It lasts about uh, 40 minutes. Uh, I usually get through uh, 6.45, 6.50, so you can get to work or school or wherever you need to be. But you can join us here uh, at, for prayer at 6.45 each morning. It's a good way to start the morning off. Often it's also a good way to get your life in order. But two things. We just pray. That's all we do. We don't ask you to do anything. You don't have to pray out loud. You just come and pray. And uh, God, is, God is always here. And he's in this place all the time anyway. Also, I uh, want to lift up again. We still need some uh, children and youth uh, ministry help uh, for the future as we look forward to uh, uh, a great uh, time with our young people and children on Wednesday nights. Uh, of course, we only got a couple of Wednesday nights left. But then we'll start back in August. So you'll be thinking about it and praying about this because we can need that. Of course, there's other opportunities that's not in the bulletin. You'll start seeing next week Bible school, Bible school, and a bunch of other opportunities that will happen this uh, uh, over the summer months as, as we get ready to move through things. Also, this week, don't forget our Kids Wednesday program. And I hope you see, see all children and youth this Wednesday night for snack supper and our normal program. They're working on stuff back there. They do a lot of work for Bible school back there, getting things ready. They're painting. They do a lot of stuff. It's the artistic work I see back there is outstanding. What's going on? Amazes me what what this church does and, and everything else. Also, I want to lift up a special announcement, which is in, in uh, bold and also highlighted on the bottom of the page. On Sunday, May twenty third, that's Pentecost Sunday, uh, at six p.m. Uh, everyone's invited to an important informational session concerning the future of the Mount Gilead uh, United Methodist Church and the serious problems facing our church, church's denomination continue. And so we're going to have a meeting uh, then, and it, it's going to be a split in the church at some point in time. Uh, that, I can't say when, I just know it's, it's there and it's, it, 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 it's coming. And I want you to be informed about it. I want you to know what's going on. And so if you'll come, I've got Dr. Warren Blatham coming at 6 p.m., a great man of God, retired pastor, district superintendent, very knowledgeable, uh, been on a lot of general conferences and, and served on a lot of committees in, the, in the, the church, will come and talk to us and tell us about what's going on theologically and for all the issues. This will be a question and answer time. So I ask you to, to uh, consider putting that on your thought. And also, this is a very important thing. Listen close to me to this. We, we won't invite laity from any church affiliated with the United Methodist Church. You won't invite any person, any laity. Pastor can come as well. Uh, I, I'll, have, I'll talk to a few of them. But really, this is a this is a lay movement, and so uh, to to get them so they can be apprised of what's going on. So many churches don't know what's going on. So this is a chance for us to get to help get the information out. So please put that on on your calendar. I thank you for that. Uh, does anyone else have an announcement? 
It's good to see you in the house of the Lord this morning. Our Lord is so gracious on this special this Mother's Day day today. Uh, man, I still haven't changed the birthday thing. It still says April. I, some, I just can't be trained about something. <laughs> I'm not going to sing happy birthday today, but I'm going to wish everybody a happy birthday. But I am going to ask you to stand with me as we honor our nation with the pledge allegiance to our flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice. Scripture reading this morning, our first scripture reading comes to us from Colossians, the uh, third chapter, and I'll be reading verses 12 through 17, 12 through 17, hear these words. Therefore, as God's chosen people, holy and dearly loved, clothe yourself with compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. Bear with each other and forgive whatever grievances you have against one another. Forgive as the Lord forgave you. And over all these things, virtues put on the love which binds them together in perfect unity. Let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, since as members of one body you are called to peace and be thankful. Let the words of Christ dwell in you richly as you teach and admonish one another with all wisdom as you sing psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs with gratitude in your heart to God. And whatever you do, whether in word or deed, do it all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. Father God, we come before your throne of grace and mercy on this beautiful day, this Mother's Day, where we honor our mothers. And those women in our lives who have impacted us so much. Father, I just ask through the power of your Holy Spirit to descend upon us today. Anoint us with your blessings and your love. And Father, we leave this place today to celebrate. To celebrate with our, uh, our, our wives, with our mothers, with our friends. We really think and remember those who are not with us anymore. That we go with the knowledge that you're with us, Father, and you love us. And you... We praise you and we honor you. We offer this in the wonderful name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and our Savior. Amen and amen. Good morning and happy Mother's Day. Good to see you this morning. First of all, I want to tell you I'm in trouble. I forgot my glasses and I can't see a thing. Marsha said, well, just hold it out here. I said, don't work anymore. They're just not working anymore. What, what strength do you wear? I don't even know. <laughs> The last time somebody offered me a pair, they were pink. I, I forgot. I <laughs> <laughs> always got some pink right there. They look real cute. But, anyway, <laughs> but uh, I also want to say this morning, uh, thank you so much for the flowers when I was in the hospital the other week. Uh, they were gorgeous. They brightened up the room. But uh, I don't know if it's somebody's idea of a sick joke or what, but it came with a Chick-fil-A gift card. <laughs> <laughs> Six days, I was on nothing but pure liquid diet. <laughs> Right out my window, looking out the window, is Chick-fil-A right across the street. <laughs> so it was really hard to look at your Chick-fil-A gift card. And but thank you so much for it. I really do appreciate it. It was great. It's just, it's, I want to say thank you to this church so much for your patience. Um, uh, you know, hitting and missing a lot here lately. And, and just on, on another note, uh, when the surgeon was repairing the hernia the other week, they found more cancer. Um, don't know the severity yet, but uh, my, my, my cancer surgeon, the surgeon that did the, the pancreatic cancer surgery, said at this point, surgery is not an option. It's uh, located on the lining in your abdominal wall. He said it's very rare. He's only seen one other instance of it. He also said it's small. So there again, it's just another hurdle to jump over. We, we've known about it for several days, but we kind of kept it under wraps until we can find out a little bit more. My oncologist is not going to do anything, any more scans right now. He's just going to do some blood work in a couple of weeks, you know, to see maybe a course of action, a course of treatment there. So just keep me in your prayers and, and just another hurdle, you know, to go over. 
But uh, I just I do want to say thank you so much to this church. You, you people are wonderful. And you've been great. Marsha's well, been wonderful. Trying to do all she does and take care of this old ugly boy too. So, but uh, y'all pray for me this morning because I, I really everything's a blur. So, <laughs> but uh, if you would take the envelope, turn to three hundred ninety-four. Something beautiful. Let's stand and pray. We'll sing through two times. Two times. <laughs>
56. I love to tell the story. 156. First second and last. First second and last. <coughs>
But I'm asking right now, Father God, we prayed before and we believe you, Lord, that you're a God of, of healing and mercy. I just ask that you lay your healing hand upon him right now. And Father, just restore him completely to himself. Father, he's been in a big battle this year. He's been victorious at every point. Now he has another little hurdle to go over. Father, I just ask right now that you just touch him in a special way. Heal his body, restore him. And Father, we give you praise for Jesus Christ, our Lord. One of the wonderful things we can do, you ask us to come together and pray for one another. We're praying for you. I'm asking for the church to pray for you. I'm asking for everyone to pray for you. And Father God, I'm believing that you're going to do what you need to do. So just believe with him. Let him know how much we love him. And as much as we love him, we don't love him here as much as you do. He's yours, Father God, and we thank you for that. Now bless him, bring healing to his body, and help us, Father God, to stand with him, to be with him, to help him, to share with him, and to love him, and to pray for him. In Jesus' precious name I pray. Amen. 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 Thank you. Amen. Yeah, you too. All the kids come. Thank you. 
Father God, thank you for all these wonderful mothers, these women, these young ladies. Father God, I just ask through the power of your Holy Spirit you bless them. Father, these flowers, these roses, are just things that you created. But thank you for creating them and the love they bring to families and individuals and to us and to me. Bless them, Father God, as they go to children's time this morning. And Father, just pour your spirit upon this church and upon all those who are gathered here today. And all for this in the name of Jesus Christ, the strong Son of God. Amen. 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 Thank, thank you. Thank you all. Got Miss Susan. Y'all enjoy your day. Take care, Mom. <laughs> Thank you all. Thank you all. And uh, let me uh, call us to prayer again and uh, ask you to uh, pray for the needs of those on the back of your uh, your, uh, your bulletin. Prayer list on the prayer list on your bulletin. And uh, again, I lift up to you, Stan, and thank you, Stan. Thank you. And uh, uh, we love you, and you know that. So we want to pray for Stan. We want to pray for our nation. Continue to pray for our nation. It does a nation who desperately needs it. Our church, we want to lift our church up and, and all across the spectrum, all across the nation, all across the world. Uh, we want to still pray for those who are going through the, the tornado storm uh, uh, re re reconstruction and things, a lot of things in the paper, a lot of things are going on uh, in the Newman area to help support those, those, those folks. But let's remember that as well and remember to pray for those. All those going through COVID-19 still. And then all the names on there, there's just tons of names on here of other people who are going through so much. Uh, those under cancer treatment uh, and also uh, those who are serving in our military and those who are in our, on our police force and sheriff's department. We need to remember these people in our prayers. Prayer is the most powerful thing and the most powerful tool we have uh, to affect the world around us. And so I, I, I call you and I call the church to prayer uh, as, we, as we pray this morning. Uh, in this prayer, Father God, I come before you with the knowledge that you are you're a God, you're over everything, you created all. Thank you for creating human beings. Thank you for creating not just man alone, but women also, Father God. What would this world be like if we did not have women to love us, to take care of us, to give us birth, to give us life, and to support us, encourage us. Father, we thank you for all this. We thank you for the land which we call America, the United States of America. We thank you for all of those who have died to, to keep us strong and free. Father, help us right now during these uh, trying days of, of this century uh, as we, as a nation, help us, Father God, to come together somehow but let your Holy Spirit sort of bind us, but also to, to, to reach out to those who, who are in government, who serve, Father God, and let them know there's a God on, on this, in this world. There's a God here who created everything. And help us acknowledge his goodness and his love. And help us to realize that our hope is in him and him alone. Father, we also pray for all those who are going through so much here in this nation around the world. But more than anything else, Father, we just ask right now that we focus our attention and mind on a loving God who cares for us. A God who, who created and made everything there is. Thank you, Father God, for this special day when we honor our mothers and those women in our lives who have been important. And bless us, guide us, and strengthen us. Now as we remember the prayer that you taught us saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done. On earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, 